Uh, if you can deliver this to John Self, who um, lives here. And it's the solutions for the 99% um, steps towards economic recovery in this next year. And it's a package of legislation that would stop foreclosures and dual tracking in California. It's uh, steps towards refunding and fully funding public education and vital services um, with uh, schools and local public safety protection act on the November ballot. And it's closing corporate loopholes, uh, beginning with passing the corporate tax transparency bill, AB 2439, and increasing in income taxes on California's wealthiest by supporting the, the same uh, schools and local public safety protection act of 2012 on the November ballot. So, that. And then here's a copy of the report. Um, give that to Mr. John Stump. Will you let us know when you deliver it? Is it possible for you to just return and say that you delivered it? Uh, you. Talk to him. You know, he's the man. <laughs> he's the man. Is there uh, any I mean, sort of acknowledgement hotel, that we can get that you actually delivered these items? We just got it. So you guys well, we don't. But, but, but actually, I just took it from you. Okay. And in just taking it from us, that is your that insurance that you're going to deliver it. And that he realizes the severity of it. You know, it's, it's interesting. We're, we're talking to you here, but you don't know the impact that this makes. It's watching our neighbors just all of a sudden they have to lose their houses and move. And their children that go to a school now are swept away that just moved on to a, a school, another area. It makes it so simple, you know. And, and what we're asking for is to do the right thing. Yeah. And in, in asking you if there's a way that you can let us know that this has been delivered to him. That's all. No. Well, can I ask why not? Please, I've taken your material. That's, that's as far as I can go. And, well, but I'm how do we know? I'm not to give you any assurances at all. So, I'd like to ask, you took our letter the last time, and you said you would get it to us. Can we ask you, could you see that Mr. Stump, I mean, your word was pretty strong with, when you said it. I'll make sure it gets to the correct people. Thank you. Correct person. The correct individual. Who are the correct people, sir? If, if you would. I mean, it, it's, it's not like we're, we're being, you know, difficult. We're talking as perhaps you can see from a human being that it, it impacts us. So, and the answer is who are the people? Are you going to give it to him? Or, yes? Is that a yes? I'm sorry. Uh, I've already answered your question. If you could just stand in our shoes and know what it feels like of what we go through within our own community. Ed? And we know that you guys are well-funded and that you are comfortable here standing on your step. And again, very simply, we came here to, to say that we want our simple lives and we want our lives to stop being attacked. And as long as we're being attacked, that just continues to raise higher and higher. We're going to keep showing up and we're going to keep hoping that there will be a peaceable solution to this because we come in peace. We know that you know people whose homes have been foreclosed personally. Think about that, please. I'm one of them. <laughs> I was offered a forbearance agreement in writing, and I made payment on that, and my home was foreclosed on anyway. It's taken nine months for them to even acknowledge that there was an issue with paperwork that was sent to me by Wells Fargo, and that's why I'm here. Not because I want to live in the penthouse, but because I want to live in my 537 square foot home. So, thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. 